muscles of the scapular region the first muscle is supraspinatus muscle this muscle takes origin from the medial two-thirds of the supraspinous fossa of the scapula and inserted into the top of greater tuberosity of the humerus the nerve is supply from the suprascapular nerve from cervical 5 and 6 action of supra supraspinatus muscle it abducts the shoulder joint and helps to keep the head of the humerus in the glenoid cavity during movements of the shoulder it starts abduction of the shoulder joint from 0 to 18 degree the second muscle is infraspinatus muscle takes origin from the medial two-thirds of the infraspinous fossa of the scapula insertion the middle facet of the greater tuberous of the humerus behind the insertion of the supraspinatus muscle nerve supply also from the suprascapular nerve c5 and 6 action rotates the arm laterally and helps to steady the shoulder joint when it is abducted this is a supraspinatus muscle takes origin from the supraspinous fossa and inserted into the top of greater tuberous of the humerus the second is infraspinatus muscle takes origin from the infraspinous fossa and inserted in the facet behind the insertion of the supraspinatus muscle also in the greater tuberous of the humerus the third muscle is teres minor which takes origin from upper two-thirds of the dorsal surface of the lateral border of the scapula insertion into the lowermost facet on the back of the greater tuberous of the humerus nerve supply from the axillary nerve cervical 5 and 6 action adducts and rotates the arm laterally the fourth muscle is teres major muscle which takes origin from the lower third of the dorsal surface of the lateral border of the scapula insertion into the medial lip of bicipital groove of the humerus nerve supply from the lower subscapular nerve cervical 5 and 6 also action adducts extends and rotate the arm medially the fifth muscle is subscapularis muscle which takes origin from the subscapular fossa of the scapula and the insertion into the lesser tuberous of the humerus nerve supply from the upper and the lower subscapular nerve cervical 5 and 6 also action add ducts and rotate the arm medially this is a subscapularis muscle which takes origin from the subscapular fossa inserted into the lesser tuberous of the humerus this is the teres major muscle this is latissimus dorsi which you come to insert in the floor of bicipital fossa the rotator cuff muscles they are four muscles which assist in holding the head of the humerus inside the glenoid cavity of the scapula during the movements of the shoulder joint. Therefore, they assist in the stability of the shoulder joint. They are four muscles, supraspinatus superior, infraspinatus posterior, teres minor posterior, subscapularis anterior. All these muscles lie around the shoulder joint, anterior, posterior, and superior. But there is no inferior support for the shoulder joint. So the weak point is inferior, which is common site for dislocation of the shoulder joint. This is the rotator cuff muscles, sobraspinatus. Here is the infraspinatus teres minor and the subscapularis from anterior then the deltoid muscle which takes origin from the anterior aspect of the lateral set of the clavicle from the lateral border of the acromion process 
the third part from the lower lip of the crest of the spine of the scapula and inserted into the deltoid tuberous of the humerus. Nerve supply for the deltoid muscle is axillary nerve from cervical 5 and 6. Action of deltoid muscle, anterior fibers flex and immediately rotate the arm. Posterior fibers extend and laterally rotate the arm, the reverse action of anterior fibers. The middle fibers are chief abductor of the arm. It raises the arm to the horizontal level, which is 90 degree. The rounded appearance of the shoulder is due to deltoid muscle. This is round appearance of the shoulder. If the head of the humerus is dislocated, the shoulder become flat. Or if the muscle is paralyzed, the shoulder also become flat, like that. This condition is called flat shoulder. This is the deltoid muscle origin from the clavicle acromion process lower lip of the crest of the spine insertion in the deltoid tuberous of the humerus. Intermuscular spaces between the humerus and the scapula. Number one, quadrangular space. It is an intermuscular space bounded above by subscapularis from anterior and teres minor from the back. Downwards, teres major muscle, medially long head of the triceps, laterally surgical neck of the humerus. The contents of the quadrangular space, number one, axillary nerve, number two, posterior circumflex of humeral vessels. The second space is triangular space, it lies medial to the quadrangular space and debounded from above by subscapularis from anterior and teres minor from the posterior. Inferiorly, there is teres major, laterally long ahead of the triceps. The contents of the triangular space is circumflex scapular vessels. This is the quadrangular space, bounded medially long ahead of the triceps lateral surgical neck of the humerus, subscapularis from above, teres major from blue. Then this is the triangular space, is medial to quadrangular. Teres major also downwards, and this is subscapularis upward, but laterally there is long head of the tricep. So the long head of the tricep separating quadrangular space laterally from triangular space medially. This is also from posterior, the quadrangular space, and this is the triangular space.